there is no argument here. What we are saying is that if the Igwe wants to empower we the youth, he should do it properly. Yes. Empower us all well now. Look, and let me even tell you, eh, any underground politics hmm, that would give advantage to some people mm. and disadvantage to others will be resisted by me. And me too. In fact, we will scatter everywhere. Man. See, the solution to this problem now is that everyone must benefit from this empowerment. Oh, ha. Um, but, but guys, listen, eh? let, let us even look at this this way. Youth leader, what are 30 motorcycles? Uzurugin. But that is what he has to offer for them. See, if that is what he has to offer, why must it be 30 motorcycles? Eh? For the plenty youths of this village, how many of us will he share it to? Is this not a deliberate attempt to scatter the youths by setting us up against each other. Whoa. So what are you saying? Huh? So you tell me, what are you all saying? We should disband the empowerment program or what? Uh, 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 see, see, it is not what we are saying. We are not going to reject the program outrightly. We are saying that it is not good enough. Uh -huh. huh? Okay, let me ask you. What would be the criteria for the sharing? What about the younger ones, the babes amongst us? Are you talking about Kada? Are you going to do? Ask him. Well, we all know you know ourselves. Yes. Uh, we know those who are more hardworking than the others. Eh? Oh, yes. It's a, it's a guinea. You heard me. How do you identify those that are not hardworking? Johnny, no, no. Quick for argument. Uh. It will kill us. It will destroy us. <laughs> See, youth leader, this disagreement will continue because everybody must benefit. Oh. If not, we will continue to disagree with you. Uh, you know what? You know what? I am done with this argument. I'm, I'm tired of all this argument. I'm done. And I have come to a conclusion. Well, this is my conclusion. I think we will have to empower the youths with the 30 motorcycles that were provided. And then in the next uh, empowerment, those who do not benefit from the previous will benefit from the present. This is what I think we should do. Mm -hmm. At least we all have what we're doing mm -hmm. to survive. Eh? You have what you're doing. You, 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 you are the only one that has Anyways, something to do. I'm not done talking. Uh, okay. Keep talking. We all have what we do to survive. So we should continue with that until the next um, empowerment. This is my final conclusion. For the betterment of our kingdom. I beg you. Papa, your conclusion. Okay. You heard him now. It his is conclusion. your conclusion. You, you have concluded. He has Thank a supermarket. You. Thank you. Oh, and stop talking about my, my supermarket. Is it not true? I went to the store and I didn't meet you there. Well, I've not opened that place today. I'm trying to list out things I need at the shop. I want to go to the market to stock up the shop. Since I'm still alone until I get an attendant. Huh? Okay, you know what? Just give me the keys. I'll go and open up for you. Don't give me that look. You know I'll always help you out. I know, darling. I just don't want to stress you all the time. You might be busy at home or maybe your grandma needs your time. It's okay. I told her I was coming to see you, so it's fine. Get me the keys. Get the keys. Are you done writing? <sighs> okay then, if you insist, I will uh, I'll give you the keys. Are you done writing? Partially. Huh? Okay. Come let me get the keys. Okay. You're back. Yes, darling. Um, is that all? No. Well, let me help I mean, you no. get the No, 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 darling, darling. No, don't. Don't stress yourself. You know it's no stress now. Eh? I can help you get them. Hmm? Come here. 
You know we are in the shop for... Hmm. My shop? Yeah, and someone can walk in. I tell me, how much have you sold today? Don't worry. I made quite a bit of sales. Well, you know you're very good at business. Really? Yes. Hmm? Come, let's go and get the rest of the stuff. Alright, darling. <laughs> Bro, what's up now? I'm good. How have you been? You've been very scarce these days. My brother, now the hustle, still on the hustling things. Eh? I understand, yeah? Hi. Oh. You know, I remember when people neglected you, eh? Look at you today, yeah? You're in big business. <laughs> Everywhere, don't choke. Abby? Hi. Um, you go lend me money today, oh. Lend you what? Hi. My business money. So how do I stay in business? Wait, wait, John. I play at the play. Eh? So what's I, new? I, I don't joke with this kind yeah, of I thing. I know. What's new with you, Jerry? Well, um, nothing is new. Mm. You just missed Viola. She's oh. been here all day. I went to the market to buy some things. Yeah, I would have come earlier. Eh? It's been long I've seen her. <laughs> so what happened? I didn't see you at the meeting. Hey, I took permission from Chinedu. And I'm sure he must have mentioned it at the meeting. Boy. Something came up. Something that has to do with money. And you know I don't joke with money. I have to pursue it. Eh? Because a man without money is like a skeleton. <laughs> you always have a very funny way to qualify everything. But that's the truth now, eh? So how did the meeting go? Well, the meeting went well. Um, wait, wait, wait. As about... Before you tell me about this meeting, eh? Let me just tell you what happened in Enoagu today. Now the real truth is coming up. I thought you said you went for a business meeting. Listen, I will start. I, I think I will have to query you. Mm. Query from my good friend. Eh? That one a good query now. I beg you, leave that one. I was told you went for an occasion, so I was wondering what occasion would be better than the youth council meeting. Uh, wait, wait, first. See, a friend of mine from Inuago invited me to a ceremony today. Boy, hey, there is one man. Called Chief Polycarpo Gigi. That man is a big boy. Eh? Very influential, popular. Every young man should know him. All, eh? I'm even thinking we should go and meet him. Who doesn't know Chief Polycarpo Gigi? Eh? I'm surprised you're just getting to know him. The one that's into power plant distribution. Eh? Yes, now. Hey. I've known him long before now. The truth is that uh, I didn't know about him, not until today. He's the one taking the new title now. Boy, come and see the caliber of people that graced the ceremony. Boy, money was just flying in the air. Flying in the air. They were spraying hard hard currency, you. Why you in favor? Hey! Why are you acting up like you've never seen anyone take a title before? Ha! See, I wish you had gone with me so that you see with your eyes. Eh? You think it's uh, this type of title we take in Agi? Ha! No! This one is on another level, eh? See, that kind of ceremony can never be performed in Agi. Who wants to sponsor them? Onye? Where men want to see that kind of money? Ha! Baba. Baba, you have to calm down. Mm. You really have to calm down. Everyone has his own time. Hmm? You need to calm down, focus and work for your money. Those things take time. They take the, you build money, not, not um, um, grab them overnight. If you don't calm down, you might just get yourself involved in something very terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm advising you now as a friend. No, I'm a motivational speaker. I you. I only admire the ceremony. We also. Huh? Better be you. So, how far now? What do you have for me? Eh? Make I carry one juice. Carry water. Juice. Why? Because this, this is a juice farm, huh? I mean, this is a juice factory. Just walk into this place and pick up juice anyhow you like. Clemson, I don't know you, Clemson. I don't know you to be a stingy boy. I am very stingy. Yes. Hi. Let it be said that I'm stingy. Go and ask men who have made it. Men who are known. Men who made hard currency legitimately. They were very stingy until they became so rich. They had to build wealth. And when they were ready, they came out as, as, as philanthropists. That's how it works. Who 
are you and why are you smiling at me? A pitiful woman like you should not have a problem with another woman smiling. I'm sorry you took it that way, but I'm sure we haven't met before. I am Ezra Wanyo And I have come to hold a private meeting with you. Did you say is a one year ago? Yes. If I am not mistaken, is a one year ago is one and same deity of the people of Aki. Are you a deity? And why have you come to pay me a visit? Once in a while, human beings, special human beings, become friends to deities. Now you are my friend. And I have come to interact with you. Can I want to? Please go. Why am I talking to a deity? Do not be scared, my friend. For you have been chosen by the gods and the goddesses of Akiyi for your good intentions towards your love, cleansing. A man who is after the heart of the gods for his boldness and the way he handles the issues in the kingdom. But he has just one problem. He doesn't believe in Ogogo. He does not believe in any traditional institutions. So, why then have the gods chosen me? You have been chosen to do something special. Something you can do. Something that will transform Aki. And something that will also transform your life. Trust me, Viola. You will smile. And that smile will be permanent. Was it not you I just saw in my dream? What? Who are you and what do you want from me? The dream was just a metaphysical introduction. To prepare your mind for the physical. For everything that happens in the physical is metaphysically controlled. Okay, can we just pretend like we haven't met? Just go, please. I, I am very fragile and I cannot handle any of this. I, I... The women who command and humble authorities are not women of physical strength. Physical strength is just an aberration. Remember, my friend, do everything I instruct you to do. Follow my path and you will discover how powerful you have become. Dreaming. Ah. Ah. It's not a dream. Why me? Why, why has this why has this deity come to me?
How will I handle this now? Eh? How am I going to handle this? Where did this one start? You didn't bother to come in. No, Mama, I um, I came since, so I decided to just um, I was just thinking and analyzing some things. Uh, uh, yes, Ma. You don't want to say eh? you can analyze. Anyway, I want to go to the market. I, I hope you're not going out again. No, Mama, I'm not going anywhere today anymore. Ogin, are you okay? Why is your face like this? Are you sick? No, Mama, I'm fine. I'm not sick. Any question? By, by the way, how come your back early from Clemson? Emma, normally when you visit, you overstay. You never like coming back. It's either you're doing house chores for him or you're in his shop selling his commodities for him. How did you say go? Was no. there any misunderstanding? No, Mama. I, you know, I don't... Um, I hardly sleep in the afternoon, so I, I, I just slept a little bit. That's why my face is like this. But I'm fine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh -huh. Your food is in the kitchen. When you're hungry, go and carry it. Okay, ma'am. You're sure there's nothing wrong with you? You're sure? How will I begin to explain this thing to my mom now? Hey? Of all the maidens in Aki, why would this goddess choose me? like Clemson. But when you look closely at all he does, you will discover that he has the interest of everyone at heart. Look, that is not my point. My point is that he is overprotecting the king and all these men that are sitting on our resources. He should pretend as if he's not seeing us and allow us to eat this man below the belt. Yeah. Then it will be recorded that during his reign as the president of the youth, the youth of Aki revolted against the powers that... We would are. not involve him. Hmm? He should just quit talking to people. You know how people respect him. Once he talks to them, they will listen to him and it will cripple our plans. I don't think violence has ever solved anything. Clemson is doing well. Huh? I feel we owe him our support. Who do we run to now? Everyone is giving excuses. While, while, while these men sit on the resources of Aki, eh? And all they can think of is to give us a motorcycle. Nah, let us change it for this man. <laughs> it will backfire. Yes, it will backfire. Let us work with the president and make Akiyi peaceful. Hmm? scene is too quiet. It's too quiet. On one night 50 years ago, when I was about to give the gift of a star to the people of Akiyi Kingdom, a man of Akiyi transferred that gift to the people of Enuago. Is it why? I am but a young woman of Akiyi. I don't know much about my people. So, I don't know what you're talking about. What is the gift of a star? A man will rise to be wealthy. He will be blessed beyond abundance. That is the man that will establish the people of Aki. 
Okay, so how was this gift transferred? The man who was supposed to transfer the gift of the star to his wife by ejaculating the said son traveled to Enwago that night. She was a widow in Enwago, an innocent widow who was simply in need of a man. That man of Aki found her that night and took her all through the night. That man ejaculated in Enwago and he has risen to be a star he is destined to be. He knows everyone who should be known. With ordinary phone call, he will have everything and anything. He parades himself as a man of Enwago, whereas he's a man of Akin. It is the duty of you and your boyfriend, by extension of the youth of Aki, to let him know where his root is. And that time is now. With all due respect, as a wine, I am just a young woman of Aki. How am I supposed to do the work of men? You have to do it. I have already given you the power. And he will do it. That man is called a Selwyn Lego of Enwago Kingdom. A Selwyn Lego of Enwago. I think I've heard that name before. Find him and let him know a man can go any length in life with his ancestors. But when his ancestors abandon him, he will crash. Most times, he will crash to death. In summary, men are nothing without their ancestors. But of all the young maidens that live in Aki, why me? You are privileged because he chose you and he loves you. So you are the only one he listens to. And you are the only one who will ask him to discontinue and he will obey. He will do it and you will do it with him. The time is now. Clemson is the last person who will entertain talks about the ancestors, gods, goddesses, deities, and what have you. He dismisses them as baseless tales. How in this world will I open up this topic with him? John, why are you here? What do you have on fire is funny. Michael. Hey, don't worry. I already handled it. Thank of you course very you know, much. Of course you know I handled it before coming to you. Thank you, my love. L let me check the extent of the damage. There is no damage. <sighs> Why is your face like this? Is there something happening that you're not telling me? I guess I'm just stressed. Stressed? And it's not a good one. I think I should just uh, call them to book a massage appointment for you. And have you spent the kind of money you spent the last time? No, don't worry, I don't need the massage. I'll be fine. Hey, you need a massage. It brings out the best in my woman. If you can be stressed to the extent of forgetting a pot of rice and fire, then I think you need it. And I will pay. Thank you, but still, you will not spend that money. Instead, let's do something else. Like what? I don't know. Go and eat in Kobe or a batch of something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold it. We'll go, huh? Alright. Let's go get this. <laughs> Are you equally saying we should fold our hands and watch these men feed on our corporate wealth? You know, you see all this, all this issue. I'm seeing it from a different level. Which level? You are seeing from the peace level, Abby. Eh? Why are you all talking like a bunch of seminarians? Our future is being destroyed and we're doing nothing about it. Chinedu, can you stand before any deity? 
That is, stand before any deity and swear that your future is being destroyed. Give me where. When we meet in our meeting, after our main meeting, two people have another meeting after our main meeting. Things are not moving on well, and you're saying all these things. Chinedi, you have a big problem. You will not look problem. Eh? Why are you always sounding as if you know more than every other person? If there is something you know that you do not know, please, can you tell me now? No, no, no. There is no problem, Mr. Patrick. Eh? You all think Clemson is the man. He knows it all, have you? There is no problem. I will go to my house eh? and sit down quietly and watch. You see these atlas men, eh? they will soon start selling our land. And I'm sure they will start from your own. By the time they sell your land to make money, your head will come down. And please, nobody should involve me. When you are I'm bound. Eh? Why are our leaders not reading the handwriting on the wall? How are they going to face the angry youths when the time of doom comes? I saw you preparing to go out. As a matter of fact, the fragrance of your perfume is still lingering all over the place. Aren't you going out again? I am. I just wanted to ask you something. Uh, what is it? I'm listening. Uh, Mama, what do you know about Ezewan Yogu? Ezewan Yogu? Why do you ask? No, nothing. I'm, I'm just curious. I, I just want to know the history of my people. Uh, well, the history of um, Aki Kingdom and other um, towns in Ibo land are well documented. If you want to know about their history, you go and uh, look up articles and history books. Uh, you'll find what you seek. Mama, you know me very well. Do you think I haven't read up on, on the history of Aki Kingdom? I have read books and articles, but the writers seem to be biased. They don't write, or they haven't written exactly what transpired. That's why I've resorted to oral documentation. I, I want to know what you know about Eze Wanyo Gugu. Well, you know I'm your grandmother. Whatever information I have about um, Eze Wanyo Gugu will not be of any help to you. I do not seek anything, mother. I just want to know everything you know about Eze Wanyo Gugu. Well, yeah. Oh. Um, from what I know, Ezewan Yogu uh, used to be an ancient deity of Aki Kingdom. But um, when the people sought repentance, they destroyed her shrine, her altar, yes, and said uh, they wanted to embrace a new religion and belief. You know what? No, Rosan. I am not prepared to hold this discussion. You know, when you talk like this, it makes me wonder the kind of witchy that you are. You are now doubting the validity of my witchy just because I refuse to associate with the family that destroyed our land. Witchy, I don't understand all this. Yes, it was their ancestors that destroyed the altar of the deity, not these young ones. They were not even born by the time this whole thing happened. So why hold them to ransom? It's not fair. You forget that it was still their family members who invited the so-called man of God in the first place. The man who came and defiled Ogugu by setting its altar on fire. Now, if Ogugu is said to be after them, they should go and seek for solution and not involve everyone in a key. But are you saying Ogugu was never destroyed? Ogugu. Who can destroy Ogugu? No, tell me, who can destroy Ogugu? These people ran after the introduced religion and discarded the religion of their forefathers. Now, they have run into trouble with others. And Ogugu is said to be the one behind their problems. What does that tell you? That is it, my daughter. The people decided to turn their back on the deity that had been there for them, but then embraced the religion of the white people. 
and to make it worse, they publicly said nasty things and condemned their own deities. But information we think is that the people were not progressing when they served the gods of their ancestors. Ah, lies! Ababasi! They are lying. In those days, our young men were hardworking. Very hardworking. And whenever they needed help, and they went to visit Oku. Ah, especially when you come with a clean heart, Oku would bless you. Unlike these days, look at our youths. Nobody's ready to work hard. They just move around hoping that they will get rich and, 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 and make it. Is it possible when you're not hardworking? Why then did the people allow the altar to be destroyed? Ah, this it. This it, my daughter. Those white people convinced them that there was nothing good about their own deities. They were deceived. They? Mama, you speak as though you are not a part of them. <laughs> are you not a Christian now? Of course I am. Is it because I did not say we? <laughs> I guess you know the answer to that. Uh, anyway, really, I, I don't know why you're suddenly engulfed with this story of food. Uh, you need to be careful. This is your maternal home. My maternal home is more home to me than my personal home. But yes, Mama, I'll be careful. Oh, good. Let me help. Uh, and make sure that, that your perfume doesn't enter the beans. My coach, No, that one is not rotten. No, put it back. Oh, my lord. Thank God you're here. I'm almost working up the shop. Why? I'm going for youth executive meeting today. Ah, you and this your youth executive meetings all the time. Hey, I came here to discuss something important with you. Oh my lord, that's your thing has to wait. Okay, if I settle down now to listen to whatever I have, I will, my, my, my attention will be divided. Okay, don't worry, when I come back, under cold condition, we'll have the discussion. As if I have a choice, just stay careful. Okay? Of course, I'll be careful for you. Huh? Take care of the shop for us, huh? I will. All right, man. Come. I just hope this opening conversation will not be a problem to our relationship. I hope this meeting will live up to its expectation. What do you mean by live up to expectation? Huh? I mean, men who suck wood on their mother's breast, who rise above sentiments and face this issue the way it is. Fine, let me, let me break it down. If this meeting does not meet up to what I am expecting, I will leave here and not come back again. Chinedu, listen, I don't want to go down that angle with you. Please, let's proceed with the meeting. Um, <clears throat> Mr. President, you this person, I actually agree with you on the proceeding. Hmm? Since we have shared the 30 motorcycles that they brought for the empowerment, we should be discussing on the way forward what happens next. Eh? And I'm also aware, fully aware, that some of us are clamoring for war. I do not subscribe to that though. Mm -mm. But I am saying that we must make a bold statement. However, it must be peaceful. Every peaceful resolution eh, follows a due process. I would say we eat them up with every violent uh, weapons we have. And the offenders will run. By the time they come back, they will come back with a peaceful spirit. That should be our discussion in this meeting. <laughs> Sometimes you talk as if there cannot be any further development in this kingdom. <laughs> we all are doing something, right? Yes. We all have something doing. Mm -hmm. We are hustlers. We all will be blessed. If not today, but someday. Hey, guys, let's stay hopeful now. Huh? Please, when will that blessing come? Tell me when that blessing will come. Look at other communities around us. Their young men are doing well. They are busy buying millennium cars, building state-of-the-art houses. But here in Aki, our Igwe will buy a motorcycle, Okada, for us, and we will be celebrating. Tufi Akwa. She needs to be coming down. Eh? There is still time for the things you seek. And the king that you have continued to castigate owe us nothing. 
Who is Hojai? A king that cannot use the resources of the land to make wealth for his people. Is that one a king? Look, if the king cannot use our resources well to make wealth for us, he should leave that throne and let me become king. <laughs> Why are you all laughing? You 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 think I can make a king, eh? Chinedu, please, 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 Chinedu, calm down. Calm down? What's all this? Please calm down and let's think of a way forward. Uh, yes, I know things are not going the way we expect them to, but we should peacefully, peacefully look for a way forward and not, and not war. We can't achieve anything with violence. That is why you are the president, eh? That is why they will kill to keep you there as a the president because they know you always dance to everything they say. But me, it's fine. I'm okay with it. If you are okay with it, I'm okay with it. If you like it, I like it. After all, I'm not poor. I am better than you. You. You speak. I'm better than you. Um, uh, Glemson. You are the youth president. And I know that the king will summon you to the palace. Please, when you get there, tell him that the youths are angry. Exactly. It's even better that exactly. there is no empowerment. Because this whole empowerment issue is causing a big problem in this kingdom. Well, my advice to the youths, especially the executives, is to always work hard. Yes. You have to work hard irrespective of whatever empowerment they throw away. You must work hard. Just keep it to yourself and mark it somewhere. One day I will lose it finally eh? and become a one-man riot squad. I will cripple those that need to be crippled and burn those that need to be set up place. Mark it. Look, look at this one. Every time somebody will just be pass my Do you try, think I'm everything is about size? Try, I'm 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 here. I'm try, try, I'm try, I'm do calm down. Try me. This empowerment issue has been settled in our last meeting. I don't know why we're talking about it here. Busubay. By the way, the reason I call this meeting is because of our ward councillor's election that is coming up soon. I want it to be a very peaceful one. I don't want any youth of Aki constituting nuisance on that election day. No, I don't want it. I want it to be a peaceful one. And please, I want us all to coordinate this. And who is the Igwe supporting? Why are you asking me that question? How am I supposed to know? No, 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 no. I don't need your answer anymore. I know. I know already. Yeah. I know. How are you? You I'm know a, what I'm you're a, asking I'm me. I'm I'm a, a, that, that connects. Don't worry. I don't need your answer anymore. Clemson. Jidea. Honestly, I don't know why those guys are angry at the Igwe. Do they expect the Igwe to spoon feed the youth of Aki? I don't, I don't get. I don't understand. Look. Others are not the problem. The problem is Chinedu. I don't know what he has with the king. <laughs> Look at the only interesting and the best young man, hard working. One of the only responsible, best hard working men we have in Aki. Hey! If it's him, how eh? I am very fine and pocketed, as you can see. <laughs> Look, if it's him, must you always drink? Hey, try something doing now. Just get a life. Where is this noise coming from? Who is talking? I am not seeing another person standing here. It is only you, honorable somebody. Can you find me something so that I will get a life and add more of this to myself? <laughs> because you must I do that all the time. Very reliable question from a very credible somebody. I will answer it. You have to do this all the time because this is the only medium, the only thing that connects me to the ancestors. We will be on the same frequency communicating. This poverty frustrating situation is becoming frustrating every day. Hi! Hey. It's alright, it's alright, I understand. Um, listen, just make do with this one. <laughs> you see what you see what I'm saying? When I say that the, the gods of our land will bless you, some people will become envious. Did you now see why I say that it is only you who is standing here? May the gods bless you. Not. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm going to. Hey, we idiot! Hey, good! If you see me, you're referring as an idiot. Hey, Lepando! Okay. 
It is now obvious to me that you are interested in conversation. Let me ask you one interesting and honorable question. A hopeless young man who goes about sleeping with all the beautiful and innocent maidens of Aki. How can you qualify that character? Is he not a god? A he god that the character has been devastated and destroyed. A shapeless man. Do not provoke me. But I want to sound one warning very clear to you. You see all the girls in my own now. Stay clear. It is a military zone. If you venture into my own now, my contract is on fire. I will destroy your hopeless life that it has no shape. He got. Listen. Anna Boga Batu. Your name is your battle. And from today, as you keep your life will never have meaning. So, give him see my honorable friend, my honorable somebody, give him the supermarket man that is faithful with one. He's stupid, that way. You keep destroying your life. The ghost of our land will remember you. Do not carry your hopeless life, hopeless destiny around my vicinity. Come with me in my own I'm ready to go. Hey, hey, is you on start bantering words with him? Yes, he's a drunk. No, 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 this guy is not drunk. He knows what he is doing. <laughs> the Ibezim that we all know might still have his own senses with him, though. But we know he wakes up every morning drunk. He's a drunkard. Hmm. You know, I don't blame him. Yes, if Chile do sees his life, he will have more points to back up his argument. It depends on what you mean. No, because. It is only poverty and frustration that will make a man to wake up in the morning and start drinking. <laughs> I expected you to be wiser. What do you mean poverty? No, you tell me. Poverty and frustration. What about the drinks you take? Don't you pay for them? Listen, at some point in our life, we will be have been frustrated too. Huh? But we didn't turn into drunks. No, look at it now. We are not drunkards. He's just a lazy youth, so you don't blame him. I dislike this guy. I don't like him. I know, I know. But I think you should put what he just said into consideration. You know? You never can tell. He might have a point there. What do you mean? I mean, uh, you're not getting any younger. Yes, uh, at this point of your life, you should have a woman of your own. You, Someone you all planning the future. So, I, I, I don't see that in you. I don't see that, so... Uh, Okay. Yeah. So, so you are supporting him? Not really, I'm just talking as a friend. Oh, okay. You know what? This meeting is over. Hey, your okay. What about the money I borrowed yesterday? My money! Your friend Viola is not around. Oh, do you know where she went to? Yes, she went to Clemson's uh, supermarket. Oh, okay, ma. We'll check her there. Yes. <laughs> Be quick, one. Stay out of trouble. Oh. <laughs> no problem, ma. <laughs> no problem. Ma. Well, bye bye. Okay, okay, bye bye. bye. Hey, why you quite no? Why you no? If you no book alley, chai. I don't know what to do. I Sincerely, I like this woman. Hi. This is the kind of grandmother everybody should pray to have. <laughs> hey, are you serious? And where is this likeness coming from? Her grandchild has a boyfriend. And she has no problem with that. Just see the way she answered us. Mm -hmm. She's at Clemson's supermarket. How many women can do that? <gasps> Even your mother that I know is still kicking against your relationship with Bernard. And that is because Bernard is a fool. 
And why are you even comparing Clemson and that fool? Are you serious? Yes. Bernard is a fool. Wait. So you are now lost after Clemson? Nena. Uh, 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 uh. I never told you I'm lost after anybody. But the truth is that mothers see what we don't see. And my mother knows Bernard is a fool who is only looking for a woman to go down with. My dear, Clemson is a responsible man. And there is no family that will not want to have him as an in-law. That's just the difference. <laughs> you see this topic? I will revisit it someday. Bernard is a fool. You just ruined my day now. Must you mention Bernard here? Your Majesty, the youth of Aki are not happy at all. What exactly is the problem? Well, they say the last empowerment um, is not enough for all. You, know, you see, uh, empowerment cannot be enough for all. Besides, empowerment is not done for once. If they could apply a little patience, more will come. They should be thankful to the king for all he has generously done for them. Go to our neighboring communities. The youth are trying, trying to survive by themselves, making cool money. That is exactly the point. Our youth should be patient. And they should be grateful for the kind of king that they have. Of course. Take, for example, the king of Enuago kingdom. He is by far richer than I am. But how many times has it been heard that he empowered the youths of his place? No. Uh, yes, I, I made them understand that fact. And uh, uh, Your Majesty, the youths of our kingdom are trying. They are very hardworking. You know, I advise them that consistency in whatever legitimates that you do is the only key way to success. And that is why I am happy every day that you are the leader of the youth. You're filled with so much wisdom. If someone else were to be the leader or in your position, there would have been crises every day in this kingdom. Now, as a hard-working young man and somebody who is successful in business, I know that uh, you have younger ones that you are planning to train. Yes, Your Majesty. Very well then. Let them follow your footsteps. That way, this kingdom will be developing day by day. You have nothing to worry about. That issue is sorted out already. Oh, <laughs> good to know you. Good to know you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. I heard you're planning to give a chieftaincy title to Chief Polycarpo Keke of Enuago Kingdom. That is very true. Of course, you know that he is already a titled man in Inuago. Our desire to give him a chieftaincy title is to make him become interested in our kingdom. And he may decide to erect one developmental project here in Aki. That way, this kingdom will be developing by the day. Yes, Your Majesty. But uh, if we give him this title, that could make him become so interested in our kingdom. But I think uh, to influence him and make him become interested in our land. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, people of Aki Kingdom from time immemorial have never bestowed a chieftaincy title on anyone who is not from Aki. You may be right, but the question is, who has that rule helped? Listen to me, my son. Rules are made for the people, and the people can always decide and Change them. Chief Polycarpo Keke is a very good man, and that is the only thing that is important right now. And giving a chieftaincy title to a man of that caliber, a man in the substance of Chief Okeke, does not necessarily mean that it must come from our kingdom here. Let us look at it as we are presenting an award to him. In order to extend what the king has said, this shift and sit title that we were about to confer upon him, we are already guided by administration. So if you just see it as an award of excellence, this is to prepare him to do more for Aki. Exactly the point. But he is not in the country right now. As soon as he returns, I will go and see him. Well, 
if the king of this great kingdom and the you know who has uh, approved of this, <laughs> who am I? But to pledge my full support to achieving this great goal. That is how leaders talk. Yes. May your days be long. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I, I will have to take my leave now. Your Majesty. Igwe. Oh no. Yes. Take care of yourself. Yes. Uh, you see, you see, this is the kind of youth we want in this kingdom. Exactly the point. And I'm going to make sure that he will remain the youth leader for the next 10 years. Huh? <laughs> your Majesty, what are you talking about? And that will mean altering the constitution, trying to amend the constitution. Because the constitution we have already does not allow a youth leader to stay for 10 years. Oh no, I am doing that already. Clemson will stay for another 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, who is that king that wants unnecessary opposition? He will stay. Welcome, my friend. Why haven't you carried out my instructions? I've been looking for the best way to convey the message to him. You have to carry out my instructions immediately. And now, the people of Akiye Kingdom must embrace me. This will return Akiye to the top where he used to be. And this will be called Embrace of Life. It is a tax. As it is, you are withholding the blessings I have for my people. How am I supposed to convey this message to him now? What kind of local problem is this one? I want to talk about Bernard. Hi. Hey. Seriously. So you just halted me here to talk about that fool. Bam. <laughs> Since you are seeing him already as a fool, my case is made sharp. I just wanted to tell you to be very careful with that chimpanzee. You are too refined, too beautiful to be seen in the midst of a chimpanzee. <laughs> But wait, oh, eh? He basin wait. Can't you stop all these things? Why will I stop? How can I stop advising my people? I am the only one who is always on a different level. I see what no other person is seeing. If I should stop advising them, then Aki is gone, crippled and destroyed and buried. Oh, he basin. I'm not talking about your advice. I'm talking about this old drinking and smoking habit. They are killers, and you are just killing yourself. Eh? Can't you stop all these things? Nena, huh? continue with where you are going. Because right now, what you are saying is what I call off point. How can you advise me to do without my tool of oppression? You see that holy water? That is the only thing that opened my eyes to see what no other person can see. <laughs> And if I should stop taking it, you see Aki gone and destroyed. Anytime you see me saying something on the road, just lay hold on the one that is spectacular with you. The one that concerns you. 
and allow me to continue with my smoke and my drink. It is my, my, my means of communication with my ancestor. Did you understand it? Well, I give up. But what I know is smoking and drinking are not good. I don't know whether you are wearing clothes or the clothes is wearing you. You are finished. That is, do you want any time you see me dress like this? I want to go to a rich man's house. And I dress very big because I know very soon I will be very fat. So I will not want to go back to tell him. You see, I just my, 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 I just my ground, I just my shit. No! Nonsense! Take that chimpanzee case very soon. Darling. Yes, my love. See, this your position as a youth leader is really affecting your business, you know. I don't understand why you keep closing your supermarkets for long hours. I told you, darling, I'm feeling it through myself. You see, I think um, I will get an attendant. Yes. I've thought about it and I think um, this is something I must do. Hmm? Um, let's just hope you don't employ a criminal because these shop attendants, they can ruin one's business in no time. Huh. I'll put the person to test. And once I see any wrong signal, hmm, I'll fire the person immediately. Okay, you say so. Yeah. Meanwhile, how's your meeting with the Igwe? It was fine, nothing unusual. It's just that the Igwe is planning on giving a man from Inuago title. Really? When yes. did that start? He made the decision and um, I think he's only trying to get the man's attention with that. You see, so that one way or the other, the man could be helping our community. And he's a very wealthy man, as a matter of fact, a billionaire who really? has the mind of helping people. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what's his line of business? Well, he's an international businessman. Specifically, he's into power generating and distribution. Wow. Yes. Who would have thought that a billionaire existing in Inuabu? <laughs> yes, they do. Who doesn't know Chief Bodika Okay. Yes, Saluni one. Are you alright, darling? <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. <coughs> why why did you react like that? Do you know him? No, no, no. I don't know him. In fact, I've never met him before. But my love, we need to talk and it's very serious. Okay, you can talk on this thing. Okay, just eat after food, okay? Yeah, I'm done eating. I just want to listen to you. Talk to me, what is it? I don't know how to put it to you. I don't know how to tell you this. How to tell me what it's at me? How to put what to me it's at me? Is the one you who appeared to me? What? Honestly, I am disappointed at you. Why would you have such a pagan belief? As far as I'm concerned, that deity was destroyed many years ago. We can't go back to that era. That's why you have a duty to convince the youth. They need to embrace that era one more time. Do you have a proof? How can I convince a man who everyone knows is from Enuago that he's from Aki? It is the truth, my love. It is the truth. It is why Yogugu has appeared to me and told me that the youth of Aki need to embrace her one more time. She calls it the embrace of life. And that is the only thing that can restore greatness to this land. Enough of that rubbish. Enough of all this rubbish. Don't ever bring up this stupid thing around me. First you say she appeared to you in your dreams. Now she's appearing to you in real life. Don't make me believe you are you're, you're, you're spiritually possessed or something. But I am saying the truth. You need to listen to me. Listen. Is the one you go has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. I do not want to hear tales from a goddess reportedly born years ago. Stop this nonsense right now. Fancy. Hey, this woman is going to put me to trouble. Hey, she wants to cost me my relationship. Is the one you go? Why? Where are you? Come on, tell this man this thing by yourself. Hey, Clemson. Shh. 
Should I blame him for not listening to me? I can't. I mean, how will a normal human being believe my story? Clemson has never raised his voice at me, but today he did. Is it why he has to look for another way to communicate this to the people? I can't do this anymore. You must continue to try. It took them time to convince them to set the altar on fire. But they forget that the effigy on the surface is not a deity. The deity is a spirit and cannot be set on fire. He will continue to talk to him until he listens. I understand everything that you have said. Why don't you just appear to him and tell him what you are telling me? Why do I have to be the one to tell him or explain this to him? You are the chosen one because you're the only one to deliver the message. Do not think you can wish this away. We are friends. And friends do not betray each other. I don't know what don't kind of friendship you. this is. Honestly, what I am saying is, why can't you just listen to what I am saying? And who are you talking to? Mama. No, nobody. I was just, um, I was just rehearsing. You know, I, I, I have developed an interest in, in, in acting for films. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. I don't understand you these days. You've been acting strange. How, how, Mama? You ask me how. I mean, look at you. It's obvious you're frightened. Oh, no. Mama, it's the character. The character is supposed to look frightened. Please, don't tell me about the character. Are you having issues with Clemson? Ah, no, 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 <laughs> no, Mama, no, no. So what exactly is going on? I mean, you've been acting like someone that is possessed. The other day, you were asking questions about S and Y, a story that doesn't concern you. Mama, there's really nothing wrong in a young woman trying to find out everything about her maternal home. You told me everything you know, and and I'm happy with it. Don't come up with these excuses. I can't buy them. Listen, my daughter, if there's something wrong, why don't you talk about it so we can find a solution to it? Yes, Mama. Oh my goodness, so it's this obvious. Everyone thinks I am possessed. How best will I handle this? <laughs> this one is okay for you. That will destroy your system. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you because you are a good man. And any time I want to go to a good man and a big man's house, <laughs> I will always dress like a big man like you. <laughs> I can see that. And I must also tell you that this missing warning, without looking deeply, deep, down, down, is very wrong. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Your Uwa told you something that I see that is very serious. Men who are men, real men, men that are men inside men, men that are pocketed, live by listing men. Men who are nothing, don't list him. If I name him, even more. Even in I name him, even more. But I must say thank you very much for this wonderful drink. <laughs> Today is already good. Hmm? But you will make your life better. If you start listening to Viola, Viola, the Vovo de la Vu, the Viola, the highest level, the Viola that will move your life from zero to seven. Listen to her. There is something about this man.
want to. This sweet baby digging it with Clemson, the hard worker. What type of Britain is that? Our kind of Britain this morning. Babe, what's up? I'm good. No, you don't look good. See your face so dull. I said I am good. Okay. We can always manu ko the guy woman. You two are up to something mischievous. Which one is Mama Nuku the guy woman? The only yes. Mama Nuku the guy woman who allow her daughter to be free with her man. Now, guy woman, Mama Nuku be that. Uh, 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 you girls are here. <laughs> Mama, good morning. Uh, yeah, money, 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 <laughs> money, 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 my girls. Get good women. You're welcome. Uh, I'm going to the market. Mama, why didn't you send Viola? But I want to go by myself. There are some things I will price that Viola would not be able to price. We will go from candy young girls. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bikono, I need you people to talk to Viola. Find out what her problem is. Because I've been asking her, she has not told me. But I believe she will confide in you people. Mama, eh? what's that supposed to mean now? Mama, no, but I say, look at you, always frowning. Nanny Ri, eh? Better talk to your friends, or since you don't want to talk to me. Mama, come on, keep dying in silence, sir. Apopam, eh? Biko, in case you're going out, lock up. I have my keys. One. Now, from. Bye, Mama. Oh, no. Come. What's your problem? Why are you stressing our Mama Nukuna? Please go and sit down. Sit that chair there. Sit down and wait for me. Ah, take your seat now. Why are you sweeping this log, Mikla? Ah. Need to listen to me. Listen, is the one you go has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. This is Aaron's nonsense. Why am I even thinking about this? So can you talk to us now? What has been bothering you? Please don't tell me you girls believed what Mama said about something being the problem. You are not getting it, dear friend. You can hide things from us, but you cannot hide anything from Grandma. She is old enough to be certain about what she has noticed. Besides, we are not even happy with you at all. When last did you come to check on us? We came to Clemson's shop the other day to meet you talking to yourself. You didn't even notice when we entered. Wait a minute. Is Clemson the problem? Did you guys have any issues? We're absolutely fine. There's no problem. We, we have no issues. Talk to us now. Look at your face. You're not even lively anymore. Ha, must I be lively all the time? Nembiko, leave her alone. Since she insists she's fine, let us believe she's perfectly okay. Okay? I give up. So what's the gist? There's no gist. When you ladies are ready, I will see you off. I will go and see Clemson afterwards. Are you chasing us? Yeah. yeah I'm not ready to go yet. Why? Zed. I beg get us something to eat. Ah, oh, you girls are impossible. Where are you going? To get you something to eat now. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Where are you, Oma? <laughs> So I allow her to tell us when she's ready. And me, I'm hungry. What's the meaning of all this? I don't understand why I cannot discuss with you without you raising your voice. Can't I discuss something important with my man? Are you not my man again? There's nothing important here. You're making me raise my, my, my voice for nothing. I have told you I do not believe in all those things. Aki has gone past the era of darkness. That's where you're getting it all wrong. I don't even believe Why I... then are we having a discussion then, then with Viola? Now tell me, why are you making it look as if we're quarreling? We're not quarreling. And by the grace of God, we will not quarrel. Eh? But you have to reason with me a little bit on this now. Why? 
I love you so much and I do not want to lose you. Why are you talking about things that we have already forgotten? <laughs> that is the problem. We have forgotten, but they have refused to forget us. Them? Oh, Google. The deity of peace and prosperity. The reason we had financial equilibrium in this land in the first place, the youths have shot themselves in the foot by destroying the altar of Ogugu. Oh my God, the one I call my woman is finally the voice of Ogugu. Did you hear yourself speak, darling? Did you hear yourself speak? Talking about a deity, like you believe them. It is upon you and the youths of Aki to go to a Seluenwego of Enuago and tell him that he is a part of us. He is a star that was promised to us. He is the one that will bring about peace, prosperity and financial equilibrium to this land. He was our gift before he was ejaculated to somewhere else. Viola, you finally lost it. No, I haven't lost it. Please just go ahead and tell him. Go and tell him that he is a part of us. How do you want me to go to a man who has lived all his life in Enuagu and tell him that he belongs to Aki? What am I supposed to tell him? That one deity or whatsoever said so? What's going on? Where is the proof? My lord, just do as I have said. Just, just try. Just, just go. And you listen. Don't you ever bring up this topic around me again. Else, I will call off the engagement. What? Yes. Well, you heard me. I never wanted to do this, but you pushed me to the wall. Very well, then. Viola. Forget everything. Do not forget that nothing good comes easy. But this whole thing is already costing me my relationship. It's already going bad for me. You both are destined to be together. You are chosen specially for this assignment. Despite the fact you're not a woman of Aki, but you have a golden heart and a true love for a man of Aki, a man who is most loved by the gods for his boldness and good intentions to the community. So what do I do now, is it why? Do not relent, for Ogubu is with you. I thought as much. And that is why I am curious as to the reason you decided to come in person. Well, we have made the consultations and we've been directed to give you this chieftaincy. We have this feeling that it is connected to something we don't know. When ministrations like this come, a king who is worthy of his ancestral stool must not downplay that. Okay, I think I. I understand that, and I can equally say I know what it means. If you have taken a decision on this, trust me, I will not turn you down. I will not. <laughs> 